So, to start off, this is my router. Um, right now I've only got one. I usually have two, but the other one's kind of not working right now, so i got to figure out something out for that. That's a different story. But anyways, you need at least one router to get this all going. Uh, I know where all these wires are going. Uh, this one here is going to the modem. This one here is going to the fourth level that we were in the previous video, um, where it's got all my stuff in there connected to a switch, uh, as well as the HD home run. This one here, uh, I believe, is going to another switch. This one is going to the bedroom upstairs. Actually, no, sorry, this one's going to the TV that I'm going to go to and show you what's going on over there. And this one's going to the bedroom upstairs where there's another Xbox 360 hooked up. So this one's hooked up to an Xbox 360 and this one's hooked up to an Xbox 360. Now, you can do this stuff wirelessly as well, uh, but I found that the consistency of getting a signal and getting it to run, because you're streaming a lot of high def video through this, um, isn't as good as actually hardwiring it. Uh, if you can hire, hardwire it, I highly recommend that you do it that way. Anyways, yeah, now you're going to get to see me for a bit while we go over to where the Xbox 360 is. Um, so I've got my TV on over here. That was probably a big close up of my face. Anyways, got the Xbox 360 here, and I'm going to turn it on like so. It's going to take a second to uh, actually come up, but there we go. And I've got the Windows remote, or sorry, the Xbox 360 media remote, which is handy to have in this situation. You don't need it, but it just makes things a lot easier. I don't know if you can see on here, but there's a little button that says start and it's got like a Windows symbol on it. Most of them, if it's the official Xbox one by Microsoft, it'll have that button. If it's not, it'll have something else, but it'll say start. And that's the button that you want, that you don't even have to sign in to the Xbox or anything like that. You just, all you have to do is hit this button, it starts Windows Media Center. Um, as you can see, I'm not signed in to anything, but this Xbox is wired with that cord that I show you. And, it's as simple as this. Now it's contacting the computer. Pulling up Windows Media Center and you can see you get the same kind of interface that you did back on the computer, but now it's on the TV and you got your recorded TV and what that tab does, I don't know if I explained it before, is any shows that you record will be saved in a folder and will be accessible through that tab right there. So if you've recorded any programs that's where you're gonna go to to watch them later. That's your guide, that's your live TV. You can actually, I didn't show you this either, but you can search for programs as well too here and it'll search your guide for, of the channels that you do receive as to whether any of those shows are available and when they are and you can set up recordings and anything like that. So, we're going to go to live TV, just like before, and there it is. You've got channel 7, and I'm going to bring up the guide here quickly. But there's the guide, and I mean, these are all stations that I'm getting. Um, sometimes you get more. If you scan every once in a while, you might get more stations. I've had upwards of about 24 stations come in. Uh, but it's all dependent on the weather. Consistently, I get eight that come in, and they include uh, three PBSs, CBS, Fox, ABC, the CW, and uh, CKWS TV in Kingston, um, which, I mean, is more than enough for me. I wish I could get NBC. I do get NBC every once in a while, but it doesn't seem like the signal coming from the States is strong enough off that transmitter. Maybe it'll change. Like I said, uh, you know, 10 years ago, this wasn't a possibility because they were using analog. Now they're using uh, digital over-the-air signals, and uh, that's why you're getting high def, and the quality is just amazing. So uh, we'll go to CBS, and we'll take a look at that. Brooks is a therapy And we've got... She makes me want to be a better person. I believe. Let's see what this is. CBS this morning. Uh, 
Let's just continue here. Gonna go down a channel. Actually, we're gonna go up a channel. So this is Fox. WWNY. But this is Fox. Um, for all your Fox shows, for me it's Simpsons and Sunday Night Animation Domination. Uh, that's the thing that I'm all about. So having Fox, love it. Channel 11, CKWS. See, we got news here. Uh, here's the three PBSs that I was talking about. PBS one, PBS two, for your cooking shows, and PBS three. A lot of kids shows on there that you'll uh, definitely uh, appreciate if you have kids. Um, this is ABC running Good Morning America right now. And this is the CW. And like I said, this is all coming off an antenna, which I've got mounted on the roof. Um, with the way it is nowadays, you actually don't really have to have an antenna up that high because these signals are really strong um, the higher it is obviously the better your signal quality is going to be and you'll be able to pull in stations that are generally weaker um, but I've had it so that I mean you can put an antenna on the window the real the indoor ones as long as it's facing the right direction and it's directional antenna you can pull in these signals uh, if you live higher in a building then you'll do a lot better too uh, but like I said over the air, free, and you can put it on any TV that's got an Xbox 360 using a media extender. Can't go wrong. I mean, for me, like I said, this is what I, I've, I've got these Xbox 360s to begin with. But I mean, seventy dollars for seventy dollars for uh, the HD home run. Uh, you've got your PC running Windows 7 at least anyway, so you've already got that core component, and you can spend probably about twenty dollars for an antenna if you spend more than that you're probably spending too much uh... run it off cable from the antenna to the hd home run and once those initial costs are set up you don't pay a monthly fee at all for this stuff and like i said it's got a built-in pvr so you can record your shows uh... barring you know a major storm which if you have satellite your satellite's going to go out anyway too um, you're going to be able to catch your shows uh, hopefully this video's helped. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions on how to set it up or whatever, uh, send it to me in the comments section and I can walk you through it or I'll post links to sites that already have this because, like, I mean, this is out there. If you search it, you'll find it. Uh, I just wanted to sort of, sort of show you what my setup looks like and uh, the fact that it's there, it's an option, and it's really easy to do. All you got to do is just uh, want to set it up and you're good to go. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments in the comment section and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.